Statistics and Excel, correlation baseball statistics. Got data? Let's get stuck into it with statistics and Excel. You're not required to, but if you have access to OneNote, we're in the icon left-hand side, OneNote Presentation 1670 Correlation Baseball Statistics tab. We're also uploading transcripts to OneNote so that you can go to the View tab, Immersive Reader Tool, change the language if you so choose, and be able to either read or listen to the transcript in multiple different languages using the timestamps to tie into the video presentations. OneNote desktop version here thinking about correlation where we have different data sets to see if there's a mathematical relation or correlation between them. In other words, are the dots and the different data sets moving together in some way, shape, or form? And if there is a mathematical relation or correlation between the different data sets, the next logical question would be, is there a cause and effect relationship causing the mathematical relationship or correlation? And if there is a cause and effect relationship. The next logical question would be, what's the causal factor that's causing the causal relationship, which is causing the correlation or mathematical relation between the different dots and the different data sets? We're now gonna be looking at a baseball statistics. We're gonna be pulling our stats or imagine they pulled from when we did this in Excel, this baseball reference website. We're not advertising for them, but we're just getting our data there. So we can imagine going to the website as we did when we worked this in Excel, and you can check this out in Excel if you so choose. And we have the option of downloading the Excel, but it's limited. So we were able to uh, transpose it to a CSV file, which is comma delimited, and then simply copy this entire thing, paste it into Excel, and change the formatting from a comma delimited formatting to a table, which is a common a theme oftentimes because oftentimes data sets might be in a CSV or comma delimited file. When we pulled it in, we get something that looks like this. We have, of course, baseball stats. Now, note that baseball stats are similar to job stats. So baseball is great because you have a whole lot of stats in baseball due to the nature of the game, but it's a job for them. And many of the concepts we apply when analyzing different baseball players can be applied to different jobs as well. We're gonna to try to break down what are the essence of the jobs, what can we measure in the job, how can we use ratios, and we can apply some of these statistical analysis to judge performance of one person to another. And of course, compensation, you would think, should be based on performance, based on these kind of this type of analysis. Uh, so we've got the age we've got all of these stats up top we're going to be focusing in on let's pick like the age and the batting average so the batting average over here represents how many times someone uh, gets on base so it's kind of a, a versus how many times they were at bat so if they're if they're at bat they're hitting if you're not, not familiar with baseball they're trying to hit they're trying to get on base whatever what whether that be first second third or a home run and uh, and they have a lot more likelihood of getting out because there's many different ways that they could get out with a pop fly, striking out, grounding out, being thrown out, and so on. And then we're going to compare that to the age. So as they get older, the hypothesis might be, are older players, is it correlated that older players are going to have a lower batting average, right? That would be the hypothesis. So we'll check that out. And so I'm going to take my data here and we're going to focus in on just those uh, those components. So we pulled in the name and we pulled in the age of the players and then we pulled in the batting average and then we're able to sort them uh, sort them here by these by this table. Now note when we look at the batting average, the next common kind of issue that comes up is uh, there might be some batting averages that shouldn't be in our data set possibly because maybe they didn't have that many at bats. So maybe they had one at bat and they got a hit. Their batting average would be 100% then, one out of one. However, that's not a useful stat uh, generally because it's, because it's going to skew the data and really they didn't have enough at bats to really have a judgment. So we could, we trimmed down the data set here so that we're we're picking 
we're, we're trimming out those that were very high and very low because the likeliness would be that they didn't have a lot of at-bats and therefore they have outliers on the batting averages. So keep that in mind when you're looking at large or a, a lot of data uh, that you, you want to think about how can I adjust the data so that I can get to the heart of the meaning of what I am looking for. Now, if I was to plot this out,